Fade in on a vast expanse of ocean, the horizon stretching endlessly in every direction. Suddenly, a massive shape emerges from the distance, cutting through the waves like a knife through butter. As it draws closer, its true scale becomes apparent. A floating city of steel and might, bristling with aircraft and alive with the purposeful activity of thousands of crew members. This is no mere ship. It's a symbol of American power, a titan of the seas. This is a United States Navy aircraft carrier, a vessel that has come to define naval supremacy in the modern age. For more than a century, these incredible ships have been the backbone of American naval power, projecting influence and strength across the globe. They're the largest warships ever built, marvels of engineering and human ingenuity, each one a self-contained world capable of unleashing unrivaled firepower and providing a home away from home for the brave men and women who serve aboard them. In this documentary, we will embark on a journey into the heart of these floating fortresses, revealing the cutting-edge technology, the rigorous training, and the unwavering dedication that make them the most formidable weapons in the United States military arsenal. We will explore the rich history of these mighty ships, from their humble beginnings in the early 20th century to their current status as the undisputed rulers of the waves. Our story begins with the birth of the modern aircraft carrier, a tale of innovation and adaptation in the face of a rapidly changing world. In the early days of naval aviation, aircraft were seen as little more than a curiosity, a sideshow to the real business of naval warfare. But a few visionary leaders recognized their potential and began to experiment with the revolutionary idea of using ships as mobile airfields. The first true aircraft carrier was the USS Langley, commissioned in 1922. Converted from a collier, the Langley was small and primitive by today's standards, capable of carrying only a handful of biplanes. But it was a start, and over the next two decades, the concept of the aircraft carrier would evolve at a breathtaking pace. By the time of World War II, carriers had become an indispensable part of naval strategy. The surprise attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, launched from Japanese carriers, demonstrated their devastating potential, while the pivotal Battle of Midway in 1942 proved that they could turn the tide of war. American carriers played a vital role in the Pacific theater, supporting the island-hopping campaign that would ultimately lead to victory over Japan. In the decades that followed, aircraft carriers would continue to evolve, growing larger and more sophisticated with each passing generation. The introduction of jet aircraft in the 1950s posed new challenges, requiring longer flight decks and more powerful catapults to launch the faster, heavier planes. The development of nuclear propulsion in the 1960s allowed carriers to operate for years without refueling, greatly expanding their range and operational flexibility. Today, the United States Navy operates a fleet of 11 aircraft carriers, more than any other nation in the world. These ships are divided into two classes, the long-serving Nimitz class and the newer, state-of-the-art Gerald R. Ford class. Each one is a marvel of modern engineering, a floating city that's home to more than 5,000 sailors and aviators. At over 1,000 feet long and weighing more than 100,000 tons, a Nimitz-class carrier is one of the largest moving structures ever built by humans. Its flight deck spans a staggering 4.5 acres, an area large enough to accommodate three football fields. Below this massive deck lies a complex labyrinth of compartments and passageways, housing everything from living quarters and galleys to machine shops and sophisticated medical facilities. But it's the carrier's air wing that truly sets it apart as a weapon of unprecedented versatility and power. Each carrier can carry up to 90 aircraft, including a mix of FA-18 Hornets and Super Hornets for strike and air defense, EA-18G Growlers for electronic warfare, E-2 Hawkeyes for airborne early warning, and MH-60 Seahawk helicopters for anti-submarine warfare and search and rescue. This diverse array of aircraft gives the carrier an unmatched ability to project power, whether it's launching precision strikes against enemy targets, providing close air support for ground troops, or conducting vital reconnaissance and surveillance missions. To keep this immensely complex machine running smoothly requires a crew of highly trained professionals, each one an expert in their field. From the skilled aviators who fly the jets to the dedicated engineers who maintain the nuclear reactors, 
Every member of the crew plays a vital role in the carrier's mission. Life on a carrier is not for the faint of heart. It's a world of constant noise and motion, where the deck can pitch and roll violently in heavy seas and the deafening roar of jet engines is a constant companion. Crew members work long, grueling hours in demanding conditions, often spending months at a time at sea far from their loved ones. But for many, the unique challenges and rewards of carrier life, the unbreakable bonds of camaraderie, the sense of being part of something greater than themselves, make it all worthwhile. At the heart of every carrier is the flight deck, a hive of precisely coordinated activity that never sleeps. Here, in a space the size of a small town, a carefully choreographed ballet unfolds day and night. As aircraft are launched and recovered at a breathtaking pace, it's a world where split-second timing and flawless execution are paramount, where even the slightest mistake can have catastrophic consequences. To witness a carrier launch is to experience the raw, awe-inspiring power of American military might firsthand. A jet loaded to the brim with fuel and ordnance is catapulted off the deck at speeds approaching 150 miles per hour, going from a standstill to airborne in a mere two seconds. It's a sight that never fails to leave observers speechless, a testament to the incredible skill and unwavering courage of the men and women who make it possible. But a carrier is more than just a floating airfield or a launch platform for attacks. It's a powerful symbol of American presence and resolve, a mobile embassy that can be deployed to any corner of the globe at a moment's notice. Whether it's responding to a humanitarian crisis, evacuating American citizens from a dangerous hotspot, or providing a potent deterrent in a tense geopolitical standoff, carriers are often the first on the scene and the last to leave. In recent years, carriers have played a central role in the ongoing fight against global terrorism, launching devastating strikes against Al-Qaeda and ISIS targets in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. They've also been a key component of the United States' efforts to maintain stability and security in the increasingly contested waters of the Pacific as China continues to expand its own naval capabilities and assert its growing regional influence. Looking to the future, the Navy is already hard at work planning for the next generation of carriers, the Gerald R. Ford class, the first of which was commissioned in 2017, incorporates a wide range of cutting-edge technologies designed to improve efficiency, reduce operating costs, and enhance the ship's warfighting capabilities. These include an advanced electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which replaces the traditional steam-powered catapults, and a significantly redesigned reactor that will provide the ship with ample power throughout its planned 50-year service life. But even as the technology evolves and the geopolitical landscape shifts, the core mission of the aircraft carrier remains constant – to project American power and influence across the globe and to provide a vital platform for the brave men and women who have sworn to defend our nation and its interests. It's a mission that's been at the very heart of American naval strategy for more than a century, and one that will undoubtedly continue to shape the course of world events for generations to come. As we reflect on the remarkable history of these incredible ships, it's impossible not to be struck by the sheer scale of the achievement they represent. From the early pioneers who first dared to envision aircraft operating from the deck of a ship, to the skilled engineers and technicians who build and maintain the nuclear-powered supercarriers of today, they're a testament to the boundless ingenuity, the indomitable will, and the sheer audacity of the American spirit. And as we look to the future, we can be confident that whatever challenges may lie ahead, the aircraft carriers of the United States Navy will be ready to meet them head-on. They will continue to serve as the backbone of American sea power, a symbol of our unwavering strength and resolve and a powerful reminder to friends and foes alike that America's commitment to defending freedom and democracy knows no bounds. So the next time you see one of these awe-inspiring ships, whether it's in person or on the evening news, take a moment to reflect on all that it represents. The cutting-edge technology, the rigorous training, the unwavering dedication of the crew, all of it comes together to create something truly remarkable, a machine that is far more than the sum of its parts. This is the story of the aircraft carriers of the United States Navy. It's a story of relentless innovation and adaptation, of uncommon valor and sacrifice, and of the enduring spirit of a nation that has always looked to the horizon with a profound sense of purpose and an unshakable belief in a brighter tomorrow. May their legacy continue to inspire us, to guide us, and to remind us of the very best that we can be. 
And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.